Magic Eden, one of the premier, if not the premier marketplaces in the entirety of crypto, but especially on Solana. Let's dive into a tutorial where I can show you how to buy, sell, and navigate the DAP. In a previous tutorial, we covered Tensor, and now we're covering Magic Eden. My name's Seb Monty, and my goal is to take you from zero to hero, so you get everything understood when it comes to the blockchain, you have fun, hopefully you make some profit, and you avoid the mistakes along the way. So let's dive in. Here is Magic Eden's Twitter account, at Magic Eden. They came into Solana at the beginning of the bull market, back when Solana was probably around about $60 or something like that. And then in mid-2022, they raised $130 million from venture capitalists, giving them a $1.6 billion valuation. Since that time, they've grown and tried to expand to other blockchains. You can see that up here. Ethereum, Polygon, and Bitcoin. And during this time on Solana, they lost a little bit of market share. I think they'll be number one again very soon. So let's get into it. Firstly, as always, in my Phantom wallet, I like to have different wallets for different things. So I've got a tutorial, which is a main account, DeFi staking, NFTs, DGEN, Junk, and Orca pools. I'm going to make one more wallet here as well. Create a new wallet. I'm going to call this a Minter or a whitelister, WL. We'll create and we'll set an icon. In a previous video, we were able to just click up here. There was an edit function, but now it's not working. So we'll go to our hamburger menu, down to our settings, up to Minter whitelist, then click on the pen, and then we can just choose an icon. Let's go for money bag. Save that there. What we use this minting address for is anytime we actually go and mint something for the first time on any website. We put in enough Solana to just do the mint. Then we'll get the NFT and we'll move the NFT into our NFTs wallet. We can use the same approach if we're using a new application, maybe Magic Eden's new for us, just to learn and to stay safe. We'll cover it more in the intermediate course. It's a worthwhile thing to do now, even though it will take you a couple of extra minutes. Anyway, let's go to our tutorial account and let's get some of the Solana. Let's move it into our NFT wallet. Click on the at symbol, NFTs, and let's move five sol. Next, and send. Close that there. Just change this to our NFT wallet, and we have our five sol. As far as NFTs go, all we have are just drips. Now let's connect our wallet Phantom, connect, and we're connected. Then I like to just click on don't ask me again and just sign in and click sign. I've now signed into Magic Eden. Let's get familiar. If you've watched my tutorial on Tensor, you may find this more simple. I do think it's a far more simple layout for a new person, for sure. Now up the top, we can search for collections such as DJ Apes. We can see it here, Mad Lads, Planosaurs, The Heist, and so on. On the left, we've got this cool toolbar, popular collections. We can also add them to our collection like this, and like this, and we can change the filters over here, and also change it from last 24 hours to 30 days, and other things like that. Then we've got a drop calendar. Have a read and click I understand, but I'll teach you about doing your own research and how to find good NFT projects in the intermediate course. Here we can see some upcoming mints. As I mentioned before, if we're gonna mint a brand new project, even though the risk of anything bad happening is very low, we'd still use this wallet here with just enough soul to get what we want and nothing else in the wallet, just because good security habits are good to form. Let's skim through the next few things. Auctions are found here, Launchpad is here, this is when a project decides to mint directly from Magic Eden. Games, creators, and pre-sale, I believe they're still working on. And then support, if you need any support. Okay, so I've got five sold. Let me show you what we can buy and sell so you just get familiar with the platform. Nothing I'm about to buy is in any way a recommendation. Let's check out the hoopers. Ideally, what we'd like to see with the buy now price and the sell now price, if you were to sell it instantly, is not too much of a difference. At the moment, NFT interest is a little bit down. An easier way to find the buy and sell price is just go to popular collections and let's use a filter. 
we want the floor price to be a maximum of say four soul and we'll say a minimum of one soul show results let's see if anything is reasonably close together let's have a look at dandies now personally if i'm buying an nft it's because i like their community utility what they've got planned their game etc but it's still good to see the difference between buys and sells now when we've found a collection up the top here we normally have a link to their discord if they've got one their website and their twitter now we can search attributes we can also search numbers or names here here we can do a search let's come over to the right hand side and click on traits filter and here we can select the traits that we want as an example maybe we like a mustache maybe we also want to have star sunglasses if nothing comes up it means with this trait and this trait there's nothing for sale so just close this one here and we can see the sunglasses if you like the collection but you don't want to pay quite that much you can put in an offer go to make offer and we can put in our price this is what's called a low ball offer but we'll do it just as an example we will do three offers and each offer will decrease by 15 percent then we can submit collection offer and confirm if we want to be a little bit specific we can include traits i don't know the traits about dandies so i'll show you them with the degen ape academy so as an example with these degenerate apes i may want to find a very specific thing such as bubble gum or this here smoking pipe if i want to see more information about it i can click on it here and i can see the mouth trait is a pipe and the floor price is almost 54 sold so i could go with make offer include traits add the traits and type in pipe so this is the trait that i'm after this pipe trait i may want another trait as well maybe a particular fur so as an example blue and peach and then i could change my price i might think this is worth 48 soul there's a royalty here which goes to the team and this is the deposit that i would submit so that's how you use the trait function by the way come up to your wallet and then just click on my items and then click on offers this is where you can edit your offers edit cancel offer update offer so as an example maybe our buy quantity is just one we could then update offer and confirm with the next transaction we get back some soul confirm unfortunately with the offers tab the ui isn't perfect because it says the floor price is 1.5 soul my price is 1.899 soul and i have one quantity so i'm just going to go click on the plus button come down to the bottom and cancel one offer and i'll receive back the other soul but also we can see item offers when we make specific offers over here and when we receive offers on our nfts we can see them here if we go to our notification bell this is where they will be shown so back to dandies let's just go and buy one we'll buy the cheapest one here click buy now and confirm hop into our phantom wallet go to our nfts and here's our dandy we can see a little bit of information here but specifically about the nft we've got this information right here now if we want to sell it now instantly we can just click on sell now if we have multiple nfts they'll come up here and we just click which one and then we'll click sell now alternatively we can go to my items if we want to sell it for a different price just click list now go down to the bottom here and we can just change this maybe we think it'd be worth five soul in a few weeks and then we can just click submit listings and confirm if we had multiple nfts here we could do multiple listings at the same time now you can see it's listed here if you're at the home page and you don't know what's for sale just come up to your wallet address and just go to my items if we had multiple nfts we would see them all here this one we can clearly see up here it says listed so we can click on it and edit now and if we want to delist it click on the hamburger menu the three vertical dots and click delist one item otherwise we can change the price here i'm going to delist the one item delist item confirm then i'm going to go to dandies right here and click sell now 
select the NFT and sell now. And confirm. And that's how we buy and sell with Magic Eden. They also have a loyalty program. So come up to the diamond. You can accumulate diamonds by using their platform. You can also come in daily, claim some diamonds, and in the future, there'll be a Magic Eden reward store. With this brand new wallet, my level is nothing. But as you trade more and more soul, you get a discount on fees, you get the diamonds, and maybe those diamonds can be exchanged for NFTs or something like that in the future. Who knows? We'll cover NFTs more in the intermediate course. That's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll cover how to stay safe from scammers. Stay curious. Catch you in that video.